Getting tips on metabolism, boosting foods. Now, I did see one of my favorite drinks there on the table. Yeah, the kombucha, right? Which yes. you were, she was trying to explain to me what it is, which Dr. Randy Johns, I'll have you explain <laughs> okay. a little better because I, I, don't, I think she wanted me to try and she didn't want to tell me too much info. She was worried I wouldn't want to try it. Who doesn't want to be healthy, happy, and thin, which is why we have you guys in today? Yep. I see a lot of green things. Yes. We're talking about metabolism, boosting foods, things that you should right. be eating so they're going to boost your metabolism. Yes. So let's start here. Yeah, let's start with the avocado. Okay. Kate, how about that? This is really a superfood. You know, they say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. I really think we should add avocado to that. Okay. It's loaded with potassium, 60% more than a banana with no sugar. Wow. Lots of healthy fats. It's really a fruit, so I'll call it a frat. Okay, a if, fat you, head of fruit. if you were going to eat this, yes. should you just eat it plain by itself? Guacamole, chop it up on a salad. I was hoping you would say that. I was <laughs> Throw hoping. Throw it in your smoothie. It makes okay. it really creamy, so great way to, to get some healthy fats in your system. Okay. Uh, why don't we talk about some of these leafy greens here as well. I've got spinach, we've got kale. They've got pockets of chlorophyll in them, and they really help stimulate leptin, which is a hormone that tells the brain to burn body fat. Okay. It also helps with uh, keeping you full uh, because it influences hormones that tell your body that you're full and that you're satisfied. Okay, and then you're not eating as much and not putting on the you weight. Now, it. the kombucha, I think this is the one that Tina said is her favorite. Okay. She said she's tried all ginger. of them. The ginger. Okay, yep. Yep. No, these are perfect. So, a lot of us, you know, we need to stop drinking sodas, and we know that, but we crave that fizz. So, this is a fermented beverage oh, okay. without any alcohol, but it increases enzyme activity. You know, my doctor just said to me, Cut out the soda. There you go. So I need to hit the kombucha, I guess. So it, so it still has like the uh, the flavor of a soda. Is it similar well, with not the carbonation? The flavor. There's no sugar really, okay. but it's going to uh, have that carbonated feel. Okay. And it's going to be perfect for gut health too, because it's rich in probiotics. Okay. Which is the carbonation? A lot of people have trouble leaving that with with soda. So yes. that is a good substitute. Okay, Absolutely. Tina, I will try it. <laughs> okay. Well, oh wait, are these Brussels sprouts? They Am are I Brussels right? sprouts. Yes. yes. I knew something. Hey, and Brussels sprouts are a perfect fat burning food. And one of the benefits of cruciferous vegetables like cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, is they help our body detox. Plus, they're loaded with obviously incredible nutrition. And we love to prepare Brussels sprouts with a good healthy fat that you can cook in. Okay. So we have some oils here. We've been kind of scared away, right, from, um, from fat. And we've almost replaced fat with too many carbohydrates. So adding some healthy fats back in, we've got grass-fed butter, we've got coconut oil, we have our pure SCT oil, which is a short chain fat, a 500 degree smoke point. Now you are a wealth of information. We're running out of time, <laughs> okay. but people can come see you. Yes. And how does this work? You tailor something specifically to them? Because a lot of people, yeah. maybe they try and follow these diets and they're like, it is not working for me. Everybody's body is different. You got it. And so you help tailor something specifically for them. Yes, we do. A lot of people who tried diet and exercise, lost weight and then gained it back are very frustrated. So you need a customized approach and that's what we do. Can we? we really help people get dialed in with their specific metabolism, create a metabolically active food plan, and, uh, and it works beautifully. Okay, now, yep. Tina, does this cut for me, T? Yep. Oh, you gotta you try it. You think I should try the ginger one? Either Which, one, whatever flavor. We've got um, pink lady apple, we uh -huh. got pomegranate, and we have uh, I think I wanna go for the pomegranate. Okay, perfect. Okay. I just had this one the other day. I really oh, like this one. Okay. Oh, I hear the carbonation when right? I opened it. Right, right, right. Yeah, okay, okay get okay. a close up on Camby's face when she's <laughs> a little bit. This does not taste like Dr. Pepper, just to be. Oh, no, they're, they're saying in my ear they're concerned for me. Uh oh. Okay. This is definitely not Pepsi, <laughs> but it's not terrible. No. I think I might be able to slowly go this way. Do they put it in like water bottles or something? I feel like this would be hard for me to transport around. Well, Do they come in other containers besides this? No. Um, oh, okay. I'll just yeah. put it in my own container. There you go. Right. Tina? Right. Perfect. I like it. I'm proud of you. I know. I'm proud of you. Very proud of you. But my healthy eating's like nachos. Oh gosh. <laughs> Some people get blessed with good metabolism from their parents. Hi. Thank you, you Mom. Hi, there good you day go. weekends. It's a long road. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you.